guys, welcome to my 16 week bump date. Baby is now the size of an action figure, <laughs> which I thought was really cute. Um, it's also the size of an avocado or a dill pickle. I don't really like pickles. Um, guacamole I'll do, but I don't really like avocados by themselves. So yeah, those foods don't really make me hungry <laughs> when I think about them. Um, this week baby can start to hear noises, so he or she can start to hear my voice, and also they can start to sense light through my belly, so like if I have no clothes on and I'm close to a light, then I'm assuming they can sense that, I guess. So it's really exciting that they can like hear me now, and we can start like building a bond. It'll be even better once I know the gender. This week I took a, um, a blood test to find out the gender of the baby. So it's a long story, but we were going to go, um, actually it was supposed to happen a couple days ago, we were supposed to go to a um, elective ultrasound. Yeah, they have like little boutique, boutiques around Columbus, I'm sure they have it everywhere. And, um, the United States and you can just go and get like 3d 4d ultrasounds and you can also find out the gender So we were set to do that and then the coronavirus hit and Currently in Ohio we are under a lockdown stay-at-home order and so basically all non-essential businesses had to close um, My elective ultrasound place being one of them so I had to do plan B um, to find out the gender because we are having the gender reveal on Easter, which is less than two weeks away. So I found out that there's this thing called sneak peek test. Um, you go online to their website, you order it. Um, if you go through your Facebook and click the link on their, um, on their Facebook site, it'll take you to their website and then you'll get $10 off. So it was only $69, which wasn't too bad. Um, they send you the whole kit, and you have basically have to like sanitize everything, your workspace, your hands, you have to wash your hands a million times, and you end up pricking your finger and filling the vial full of blood, and then once that's all done, they give you like a return package, and then you send it off in the mail, and they read the results in their lab in California, and then they let you know if you're having a boy or a girl via email. So I did that, I took a vlog of it, you'll have to go back and see it because I'm sure I'm ar I've already posted it on my channel. Um, I am currently waiting on the results to come to my email. Um, it's currently in transit, it's supposed to get there today. So I'm waiting, I'm super excited to know. Um, at first I wanted to know, then I didn't want to know until the gender reveal, but after talking to Anthony about it, he really wants to know right away, so I think we'll just end up finding out. So, um, yeah, I'm very excited about that. Kind of a bummer that we had to go this way to do it, but the $69 was a lot cheaper than the elective ultrasound that I wanted to do. That one was like over $100. So I guess I did save money, but I don't get to see, you know, 3D, 4D of my baby. But I mean, eventually in a couple months, I will see my baby all the time because they will be born. Um, another fun thing I did this week is I did a bunch of Old Wives Tale gender predictions, which is in another vlog that I did, so you'll have to go and tune into that to see what the results were. So that was super fun to do. I did the same thing with Grayson and it was a lot of fun. Like I said before, my nausea has totally gone away, um, so I'm feeling great now. The only thing that happens to me every, so every few days or so in the evening um, some days I just feel very like bloated and gassy and so my stomach feels like really uncomfortable um, and I have to pass gas a lot to make myself feel better. Um, so that happens sometimes but it's not every night. I really haven't had any new cravings. I'm still like, I could still go for some salty french fries but then on the other hand like I could really go for some ice cream right now. Um, but then again, that's because I gave it up for Lent, which is over on Easter, so I'm super excited to have ice cream again. I have really been craving cookies too, but I mean, I just love sweets, so. I have been waking up a lot throughout the night lately. Um, it seems like every small sound wakes me up. Um, Anthony's more of a night owl, and so I always end up going to bed before he does and usually when he comes to bed I'm so out that I don't wake up and, and I don't hear him come to bed 
but lately more often than not he has been waking me up just by coming to bed and then when he wakes me up I have to go to the bathroom because I have to pee and then I lay in bed and I just like can't fall asleep because I have too much going on in my head mostly about this whole coronavirus and how long are we going to be stuck in our homes but so yeah I've because of all that I've been having I've been really tired throughout the day, so I have been um, having to drink coffee more often. It's not an everyday thing, it's just like an every few day thing, and I only drink like a cup, like only like eight ounces, so it's not that bad, but I do need coffee here and there to like get me through the day because I'm just up all the time at night and I can't fall asleep. I don't have trouble falling asleep, it's just like falling back asleep after I've already woken up. In addition to Anthony waking up, I've had other things wake me up, like just little sounds in the night will wake me up, or because it's spring here, we've been having crazy rainstorms and thunderstorms lately, and so we'll have big storms that come through in the middle of the night, and the lightning and the thunder will wake me up, and Anthony will just sleep right through it, but I guess not for me. <laughs> I've had a lot of extra saliva in my mouth, I can just like tell, and I've been super thirsty lately too. I haven't been super hungry all the time. Um, I snack a lot less now, and I don't know if that's because, like, with this whole coronavirus, like, we don't have as much snacks as we would because we don't go to the grocery store as much. But yeah, I don't snack as much. I usually just eat, like, a lot of big meals three big meals a day, I guess. Anthony's been really sweet. He won't let me go anywhere because of this whole coronavirus and they don't know the effect on the pregnant population. And so he always goes to the grocery store. If we ever need anything, he goes out and does it. So it's really sweet. He's being very protective of myself and our son Grayson, which is really nice to have him. He works from home now because of this whole thing going on. So it's nice to have him home all the time and helping me. I've had a lot more headaches lately. I've noticed I've had to take more medicine and things. Though so one day, a couple days ago, I had a bad headache and I took medicine in, like early in the day. And several hours later, it was not going away. I had to take more medicine. It was a good amount of time between the two times I took medicine, but usually I can just take it once, um, once and it'll just be fine. The, Headache will go away but that time it did not it was it was a bad headache so I have like a love-hate relationship with my fetal Doppler I have a home Doppler which is awesome because I can hear babies heartbeat whenever I want to I use it very seldomly I mean like once a week maybe or once every two weeks I don't use it very often but it seems like what one time I'll use it and I'll find baby's heartbeat right away and then the next time I use it I can't find baby's heartbeat at all. It's like so random but the last time I used it I was able to find baby's heartbeat so everything's going got good in there. I have not felt baby kick yet. I mean I might have because like I feel little bumps here and there but when I was pregnant with Grayson I first felt him kicking like I knew right away like that's what it was and I haven't had like that clear moment yet with this baby so I don't know I mean I guess I am only 16 weeks but I just figured like I would feel the baby a lot sooner because this is my second pregnancy but no, I still haven't felt baby yet. So this week I was supposed to have my 16 week doctor appointment. Um, if you tuned into my last bump date, you'll know that that appointment got canceled. My doctor's office called me a few days before my appointment and said that they are limiting uh, appointments to their patients to limit our exposure to coronavirus. Um, and so they canceled it and instead they just scheduled me for my 20 week appointment where I will have my anatomy scan. So I am looking forward to that. I was bummed that that 16 week appointment was canceled. I think we were going to do some blood work um, and we were going to hear baby's heartbeat. But I understand why they're taking these precautions. So I have that scheduled. My 20 week appointment will be end of April. So I'm excited for that. It's like a 45 minute ultrasound of baby. Hopefully everything goes well and there's nothing um, alarming that we find on the anatomy scan, but I guess we will find out. So yeah, unfortunately, 
that appointment was canceled. Thankfully, I, I, like I said before, I do have a home Doppler, so I was able to find baby's heartbeat. I feel like if I didn't have that, I would be a lot more nervous to go like that long in between appointments because I have the Doppler, I can just listen to the heartbeat whenever I get nervous. I have noticed going back to me like not wanting snacks a lot but eating big meals, I have noticed that like if it gets to the point where like I should be eating dinner but I haven't ate dinner yet, I get very like hangry and like very focused on food and like it's like I go from like zero to a hundred with like how hungry I get. Like I get super super hungry. My belly has been getting bigger. I will show you guys as I get on the bed every time. Um, this is kind of a looser shirt so it might be a little hard to see but I do feel like my belly is getting bigger. So there it is, 16 weeks. I'm just wearing like loose workout clothes right now because I don't go anywhere so what's the point of getting dressed up? <laughs> yeah, so I think that's kind of it. There's not really um, too much going on with me. Um, I am still sneezing the whole time. Um, I think it's seasonal allergies. Um, sometimes in the mornings I'll wake up and I'll have like a runny nose, but then I'll just blow my nose and then it'll be fine the rest of the day. But I am sneezing a ton so I think it's just allergies. But other than that, I mean, you know, I'm in the second trimester so, you know, it's a pretty easy time and I don't have a lot that's too wrong so yeah I think that's gonna be it for this week unfortunately no doctor's appointment to let you guys know about but um, I will in a month <laughs> but if you have time go and watch those vlogs of me doing the sneak peek test and also the fun um, old wife tale gender predictions and uh, leave a comment down below what do you think the gender of baby number two will be? We will be finding out in under two weeks. I will have a video of us finding out. I'm super excited for it. So make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of those videos. Like this video, give it a you know thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.